Hi Juan, I'm here to ask you 37 questions. Hey Abby, let's do it. What is your name? My name is Juan, bro. How old are you? I am currently 18 years old. Where are you from? I'm from Waukegan, Illinois. Have you lived away from home before now? No, this is my first time. Where are you? Where are you? I'm currently a freshman. What is your major? I'm an accounting major. How do you feel about underage drinking on college campuses? Underage drinking is something that happens but should be stopped. Do you think that students under the influence should engage in sexual activities when they are under the influence? No, students should not. No, no one should engage in sexual activities if they're under the influence. Do you think that sexual assault cases on college campuses come from drugs and alcohol? Yes, they do. Should college officials take a stand to defend and protect rape victims on their campus? Yes, they should. Should uh, Does a guy have the right to have sex with an intoxicated girl even if they were flirting? No, they do not. What are your thoughts on the Brock Turner case? The Brock Turner case had a very bad outcome. Have you ever been sexually assaulted? No, I have not. Does a woman's appearance contribute to the cause of her rape? No, it does not. Should athletes who perpetrate sexually and sexually victimize a woman be penalized? Yes, they should. If a woman refuses to have sex with her boyfriend, but he has sex with her anyway, is it called rape? Yes, that is rape. If a woman is sexually turned on and forced to have sex, does it actually count as rape? Yes, it does. Should a woman stay silent if she knew her rapist? No, she shouldn't. Should rape be viewed as a minor misdemeanor or heinous crime? No, it shouldn't. Should the perpetrator serve jail time even if he is remorseful? Yes, he should. Are female prostitutes obligated to have sex with someone even if they don't want to? No, they shouldn't be. Should female victims be forced to testify against their attacker in court? No, they shouldn't. Is a woman compelled to have sex with a man just because he is nice? No, of course not. Does a man's sexually, sexual rage condone the act of rape? No, it does not. If a woman is having consensual sex with a man but suddenly tells him to stop and he continues, is it her fault? No, that's not her fault. If a woman is lying next to her a significant other naked, does that give him the right to have sex with her? No, it does not. Do you think that rape culture exists? Yes, rape culture does exist. Do you think that rape victims should seek mental health counseling? Yes, they should seek counseling. Should rape victims, um, do you think that the media plays a role in the way men view women? Yes, it does. Is it okay for a man to verbally abuse a woman because she is dressed provocatively? No, it is not. Is it rape if a woman does not say yes but does not say no either? Yes, that is rape. Do you think that victim blaming is real or just an ideal? Victim, victim blaming does happen. Do you think that there should be consequences brought against the perpetrator? Yes, there should be. Should there be rape prevention classes on college campuses? Yes, that's the class I would take. Should there, do you think that colleges and universities should ban the consumption of hard liquor? No, they should not. All right, Juan Cabral, this is your last and final question. If you can say one thing to all rape victims, what would it be? Keep your head up. Hey, Aurelia, I'm here to ask you 37 questions. Hey, Abby, all right. What is your name? Aureli Calderon. How old are you? I'm 19. Where are you from? I'm from Waukegan, Illinois. Have you lived away from home before now? No, this is actually my first time. What year are you? I'm a freshman. What is your major? Psychology, clinical counseling. How do you feel about underage drinking on college campuses? I feel like it shouldn't be a thing, but I know it's going to happen because a lot of kids are interested in that. Do you think that students under the influence should engage in sexual activities? Definitely not. Do you think that sexual assault cases on college campuses come from drugs and alcohol? For the most part, yes. Should college officials take a stand to defend and protect rape victims on their campus? Always. Does a guy have the right to have sex with an intoxicated girl, even if they were flirting? No, because somebody who is drunk can't give consent. What are your thoughts on the Brock Turner case? I feel like it's very sad that that actually happened because rape is a very difficult thing to process. 
So for him to get away is just really sad. Have you or someone you know ever been sexually assaulted? Yes. Does a woman's appearance contribute to the cause of her rape? Never. Should athletes who perpetrate and sexually victimize a woman be penalized? Of course. If a woman refuses to have sex with her boyfriend but he has sex with her anyway, is it rape? It is definitely rape. If a woman is sexually turned on when forced to have sex, does it actually count as rape? It still does count as rape. Should a woman stay silent if she knew her rapist? Definitely not. Even though it is hard to talk about it, she should not stay silent about it. Should rape be viewed as a minor misdemeanor or heinous crime? A heinous crime. A heinous crime. Should the perpetrator serve jail time even if he is remorseful? Definitely, yes. Should female victims be forced to testify against their attacker in court? Although it is hard to face your attacker, um, they should because it's an important part of healing. If a, is a woman compelled to have sex with a man because he is nice? No. Does a man's sexual rage condone the act of rape? Does a man's what? Sexual rage or sexual promiscuity condone the act of rape? No. If a woman is having consensual sex with a man but suddenly tells him to stop and he continues, is it her fault? Definitely not. What are your thoughts on the sexual liberation of women in society? There are still some major complications with the whole idea of um, women asking for it or women being at fault for their rape. So I feel like it should be a lot better than it is. Uh, it's not. If a woman is laying next to her significant other in bed while naked, does that give him the right to have sex with her? No. Do you think rape culture exists? Yes. Should rape victims seek mental health counseling? Always. Is it okay for a man to verbally abuse a woman because she is dressed provocatively? No. Is it rape if a woman doesn't say yes but doesn't say no either? That's a very hard question because it can be different types of situations, but it should always be a yes. Do you think that the victim blaming is real or just an ideal? No, it is real. It's very real. Should there be rape prevention classes on college campuses? There should be because it is something that happens a lot. So to prevent it, there should be some type of classes. Do you think that there should be consequences brought against the perpetrator? Of course. Okay, last two questions, Aureli. Do you think that colleges and universities should ban the consumption of hard liquor? Yes. Last question. If you could say one thing to rape victims, what would it be? It is hard, but continue to fight because it is a part of the healing process.